Hey guys, what is up? The Tarot Magician here. So, welcome to our first ever episode of Pardo Paranormal. I almost forgot the name of it. <laughs> okay, so in this series, you guys, I really just wanted to start a series where we're able to discuss things of the paranormal and not just the paranormal, but everyday life, you know, just sit back, relax kind of videos and that's exactly what this is gonna be so grab a drink grab a snack i'm also gonna be doing an unboxing in this video because i got i got a pendulum which is in here and i got a new pendulum clock too so but i'll wait to do that towards the end because levitic is here has a story he wants to tell you guys and also by the way for those of you who are new hello my name is renee the tarot magician psychic medium this is my husband did he come today <laughs> introduce yourself <laughs> i am the viticus the viticus tell them your gifts you know what you can do uh, too i can drink i can snore all night <laughs> Uh, I buy her stuff. I have to feed her all day. Okay, yeah, that's true. Um, and we have a kid. It's about the same thing with her and my kid. So I mean, he can see orbs and shadows. Okay. Maybe I mean, I guess. Which is what the story is based off of, right? <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> I don't even know the story because Not an orb or a shadow. I full told, on, full on crazy. I told him I was like, wait to tell me the story till we film. That way, I can be surprise too it's a so. good thing we have a light because if we were telling us in the dark i'd be like nope turn on the lights right now <laughs> my obviously most of our stories are probably going to be happening within this house because this house tends to be can it's haunted okay pretty much <laughs> yeah it brings in a lot of energy but it's been around for a long time it's a big house i actually have it's a story much, too too so. much room for it to not have some energy i have a story too but i'll let you go like, first so go ahead start with mine yeah, start with your story. All right. I'm ready. I got what my What was the pepper. date? I should have wrote down all this stuff. No, just... Let's go um, Texas, South Texas, right? <laughs> so we're looking Details South Texas. Details and everything. Yeah. Well. South Texas. I mean, come on. It used to be all orange girls back then. And who, who knows how many grave sites are built on, on under this house. Yeah, like, that's very true, actually. Um, or like, like even like, have you read about like underground cities and like stuff like that too? Yeah. And all that stuff is I mean, crazy to me. You can't you can't put water pipes or anything unless you can actually like walk underground and see how everything's going. Yeah. I mean in the bigger city in small towns obviously it's different, but here no. That's why it has so many manholes. People get down there, they see some shit. <laughs> um anyways, continue. <laughs> <laughs> what's today? Thursday? Wednesday. Wednesday, Jesus. yeah. Almost. So Thursday. last week Texas was not ready for a full on winter storm it wasn't even a winter storm it was a winter storm <laughs> it was like some ice elsa decided to come in and town. it was like 28 degrees 25 28 degrees yeah, and somewhere around there but of course Definitely below 30. our great state of texas just like freaked out it's not all, prepared all the electricity went out a lot of people were actually without water too mm -hmm. it's, we not, had water it's not getting here. to a political reason of why that everybody knows they could just you know go google Texas electricity grid, they'll know what happened. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so was it the first night? Um, yeah, I think it was. It was the first night. Yeah, everything was pitch black. Everything in this in this house, it's so big, and then the neighborhood, it's all in the same. You know, it's all the same one strip where there's like in a big old long cul-de-sac area. Just one street. Yeah. yeah, it's a strip, and then a cul-de-sac, and it comes back out. It's gated, like no way in or out unless you have the code or you jump the eight foot wall. But I mean. Um, so the whole place is blackout. So th there's no there's no light coming in from the other um, neighborhoods or across the street because they're big neighborhoods, and they were out too. So everything is just pitch black. You can't see your hand in front of your face, right? Yeah, it's dark. <laughs> um, so then, of course, me being outdoors, and I have like a hundred flashlights. I guess when you get to a certain age, you just get into flashlights. You can start collecting like, them like or a, something. It's like a 25 and older and a dad thing. Well, we did like, work at a gun range, so he he would just like, if they were on sale, randomly get them. Like, if they're on sale, that means they're $25 still. Yeah. Keep in mind, these are like $50 flashlights. Yeah. So these things like really make the room actually like this. Like it's day almost in like here. My you ring can light. see. You can't, 
make anything up. Something goes by or whatever, you're gonna see where it is. It's not gonna be like, oh, it wasn't that bright and it's bright. And so I have one that happens to do that and I was in the kitchen putting all the other flashlights together and everything. Um, of course, I have a sweater on, right? So, because it's freaking already 60 degrees in the house because mm -hmm. the, the heater's not on anymore. And then I'm, uh, I, good thing I have a big, we have a big German Shepherd. He's not ours, but like technically he's kind of like ours. He's the one that just tried to open the door yeah, with his okay. nose right now. That wasn't literally. a ghost, okay. He literally just tried to open the door because right he wants to be here with us. That was catch. Um, anyways, so goes there, getting stuff and picture, you know, in the kitchen, there's a kitchen, it's the island, and then a big old round table, big old rustic round table, high table. So I had the, the lights on, the flashlight on or anything in there, so you can see everything. Everything is not as bright as this, obviously, but it's still good. Mm -hmm. It's lit pretty good. Um, so then I, I saw something on the right side. I turned around to the, to the right because I'm standing and I'm, you know, I'm doing this with my little flashlight to make sure like what batteries I need to put into the other ones that weren't working. And then I turned it off, I turned it off, and I looked to it, and I saw something on the right, I was like, oh, okay, it's Cash, it's the dog, because he's a big German Shepherd, he's tall, right? Mm -hmm. And I turn around like that a little bit more, and I just see green, like a, when the light hits somebody's eyes, it goes, or somebody, um, an animal's eyes, it goes green, right, or red, or mm -hmm. depending on the animal. Okay, cool, and I turned around like that, and it, well, it wasn't, it was, it was a girl, it looked like a girl. Was a girl? Yeah, it looked like a girl, and like she was just like. And she had like green I, eyes. It's like I caught her right when she was watching me what I was doing. Uh -huh. It was just that it was a reflection of the eye. So naturally, your eyes aren't green. It was probably the whatever was coming off of it. Yeah, like the reflection. Or so something. me, I didn't freak out because I was just like, okay. I'm freaking. Somebody. That's so, not the first time you've mentioned a girl. Yeah, but I thought honestly, I thought it was if it wasn't if it wasn't Cash, right? Mm -hmm. If it wasn't the dog, then it was our daughter. Cause she'll get out and she'll just run she if she sees light it's yeah. a, if she sees any kind of light it's a go if it's if it's dark she's like yeah i'm not going in there or getting near it mm -hmm. but like she get, she'll get up like for example even when she sleeps she'll get up and she'll just hear us and then she'll run to us now they'll get to her mm -hmm. flash of light but this girl was a little too was not small she was just like <laughs> like four feet tall it was like a child uh -huh. it was kind of, kind of like almost like lauren that's not the same girl that you saw at the apartment, remember? You saw a girl mm. also at the apartment one time? That's not the same one? Because I'm almost wondering if it could the... be like spirits oh, that Elena is The one that ran through the wall? Yeah. Before she was born? Yeah. It might be her, her guardian Because I mean, it's been a couple of years and spirits grow also. Anyways. You know. It was just a girl, but the thing is, like, it's like caught her by surprise. So it wasn't just like a girl standing there, like in the movies, where like all black eyes or whatever, you're freaking out. It's like one of those retired and like so they're so she was like that like what oh crap because it turned so fast and, and all of a sudden I was she like she probably didn't realize because I did this thing I did too. I did this and then I looked and I went like this and I saw her and then I went like, and then I turned my whole body and then there's nothing there and so then I looked to his left I was like maybe it was cash I'm just playing everything over right mm -hmm. it's cash cash is not there so I'm like okay Elena so I look around Elena no. and I say Elena no, Elena's not there you guys are in the room is that when you so went then to have I was like goodness? yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you asked why? Oh, well, you okay? Yeah. And I just didn't tell you then because I didn't want to freak you guys out. Dude, this is the first time I hear it. We were gonna too. have to stay the night in pitch black. You know what I mean? <laughs> you probably knew if you would have told me, I'd have been up the um, rest of the night. <laughs> but honestly, it really didn't feel bad. It didn't. It didn't she feel didn't bad. sound but, bad from. But I guess because I didn't feel anything tug me or anything, then I would have been like, ah, like, oh, nah, we out. And like, also we're going because somewhere. normally when spirits are surprised themselves like that, they're not meant to do harm. They're probably just either lurking or, like I said, Lelena's probably starting to catch on from spirits too, because that's not the first time we've had yeah, a little I girl. Yeah, I mean, it could have been my perception and my eyes too as well. I mean, again, again, it's not like we were in the best of light like this. Mm -hmm. Picture like this lighting, but half of it. Mm -hmm. So it's not technically dark, but it's dim. Yeah. Put it that so way. So your eyes like tend to mess with. So you you're like, still. okay, it's you. You know, you're just overthinking it because it's all pitch black. You've we've already seen activity, heard activity, so oh, you yeah, already have it in your head. In house, that's no doubt. So then you're just like, okay, it's you, and it's like, no, I don't think that was because that was pretty clear when you see somebody's face and you're going, oh, yeah, so no, it's not me. <laughs> side note, and I will show you guys this later. That way you can actually see what I'm talking about. In my dad's bathroom. My dad, I, I hate saying this word because of all the jokes that we have said before, but 
I don't want to say portal, but there is a step away in my dad's bathroom because there are mirrors surrounding yeah, like, like around the entire whole bathroom. bathroom. And I know that it's some sort of gateway or doorway. I'll say doorway, not portal, because I didn't open it. But I know that there's activity probably because of that bathroom. Because every time I go in that bathroom, I get the shivers and I don't want to look in the mirrors. I like try not to look, like I try not to gaze like deeply in the mirrors yeah, because I'll, I'll show you guys. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But it's literally like when you look in the mirror, it's like, since they're they're back to it's, back and side to it's side, full size mirror, life size mirror, it's yeah, big. They're huge mirrors. Like it's like one of those mazes that you walk into a, and you're just like, where do I go? It's usually hundred you know? by hundred inches. Yeah, on one side, on the other side, mm -hmm. and then the doors too mm -hmm. are sliding mirrors. Yeah, so, so I'm that, pretty the, sure that it. that bathroom alone causes it really help. a lot of activity to enter your house. Um, are you are you done with your story, or do you still have more? That one, that was, that was basically it. I mean, I'm, I'll try to remember as you're talking if anything else that is, because uh, I mean, there's been times where I'm here and like the next night before we end up taking off mm -hmm. to your grandma's because she was the only one out of like all our families my that had. Has spirits too, but one of them um, was my grandpa, obviously. But like, no, I, I mean, know there's I other. I actually like you said there. the kitchen. I mean, the living room when we were there, your grandma freaked you out because the light would like go dim and light and dim and light. Yeah, that wasn't the heater. That was just, I mean, it was probably some no, of the was, heater, but that's because that house is sixty years old. Well, yeah, but uh, spirits have a tendency to mess with electricity when they get really, really good at it. Well, I noticed they always how, did that. It always, it always did that when the aircon came on. So yeah, that's why. Like I know you. I mean, it probably had somewhat to do with aircon because they know how to manipulate it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I felt pretty good. That's why I knocked out yeah. in that house. I didn't even, like wake up at all, obviously, but then we only got like five, six hours. But still, <laughs> I usually wake up, we wake up like every two, three hours in yeah. between. Mm -hmm. but, well, uh, I have a story too from the other night. Uh, the, was it, it was either last night or the night before. I, I mean, I know there's things in this house too. I've seen it and I've heard it and all the above. But um, I was in the bathroom because our bathroom is not connected to our room. We have to walk across the living room in order to get to the bathroom that we use because my sister didn't want to share her bathroom. Totally fine, she did a dirty bathroom, okay? <laughs> we're, all, we're all adults, we can, we can walk a couple feet. Yeah, we can walk a couple feet, no big deal. And so uh, we have to walk across the living room, as I mentioned, to get to our bathroom, okay? So, of course, it's like the middle of the night. I have to pee like every three to four hours because I drink too much Dr. Pepper during the day. So I have to do that. <laughs> As I'm coming out of the bathroom, you know this corner right here? Where all the um, the boxes are at? Well, you gotta like right here, tell them, on the other explain side. it. Because I know, I know what you're talking you. about. This corner right here, and like I said, it's literally just the corner where I'm pointing at right here. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a dark like a shadow figure, like in between everything. Cause you know how they hide like in between stuff that way they think that you can't see them. Well, I literally saw, like I felt it, I felt it first and foremost cause I can feel energies better than I can actually see them with like my eyes just cause I'm, I'm an empath so I can feel other energies around me. I felt a negative spirit there, like just, kind of not really creeping. staring at me but like lurking they're creeping yeah like lurking as if like trying but like hiding and like lurking at the same time and i literally ran back to the room because i was like oh my god you tell me that you you're running like the whole time the lights are out you're like you're running back to the room <laughs> yeah too the whole time the lights were out too so i probably felt the spirits that were there too because i was literally just like, he was like right behind you like Ooh. <laughs> I, was like, no. I was like no 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 so i go and i'm in the room and every time I encounter any type of spirit, whether negative, whether good, I always try to block it out when I go back to sleep because I know I'm gonna end up having some sort of dream about it, right? So I try to block it out and I'm like, oh, Renee, like you're fine, you're fine, don't think about it, right? So of course I go to sleep and of course I end up having a dream about a negative spirit that is literally like staring at me and like just like watching me. And after that dream, I knew it was whatever I had felt that was right there. Oh, no, <laughs> I'm telling you, he tries to open the door all the time. <laughs> Cash. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I cleanse as much as I possibly can. And, um, I mean, I try to cleanse whenever I feel like there's negative energies 
like around anywhere but it gets hard when you live with other people and they're their energy because that's what it is it's like it's their energies whether it be you know like my dad my aunts my sisters i mean there's multiple Basically, people that like yeah, there's a, come there's in the house usually like six seven people walk in and out during within the day so I mean, and i'm not saying that because i mean the family's always just they don't, we don't all stay together live together but yeah. they're in and out you know what i mean they're in and out and i'm not saying that they carry negative energies but they don't believe in that stuff like they don't believe in the spirits they don't believe they don't even believe in what i can do so the fact that they don't believe in it makes them more prone to something to get attached to them so that's how i can feel it and so i'm just like <laughs> and i'm just there with my sage like <laughs> yeah i mean <laughs> that's all i can do really like you i know? mean other than here when that happened like i said it probably wouldn't have happened or it might have happened later if the lights wouldn't have been out for so long because yeah. the lights are usually there's usually a light on in the house somewhere that lights up another room very little but it's never that dark so yeah. i guess that night is that dark mm -hmm. you said any darkness that's that's not usual i mean it allows other stuff to play around yeah i mean imagine these houses down the street because this house when we're in it's a big house it's a big house mm -hmm. and i mean like you know what is it five bedroom right mm -hmm. and this is the smallest house on the block on the block literally the other the other houses are usually eight to ten. Don't ask me how I know that. I can just look it up on Realtor.com. Like, I've seen one of the houses down, like the one of the corner of the cold sac. Um, yeah, it's like triple my house friend, of this one. Like, my mom's friend used to live there, and um, so I've been in that house, and that one is like well, that's huge. It twenty times up, bigger it than It takes this up house. the whole half the corner of the cold sac. Yeah, mm -hmm. like cold sac. You know, cold sac it goes round, right? There's only literally three houses in. The, in that make up that cul-de-sac because that's how big they are yeah they're sitting on an acre and a half two acres maybe three some of them they're just it's a lot yeah so i mean imagine the activity they're getting because a lot of them like the neighbors over here they're older yeah and they're in and out and i noticed that by the second day when i was out there um seeing if maybe they turn on any lights or there's any trucks working on any lines or anything like that at the time um more than half of them were gone already and i was telling Nay over here, I was like, I bet you they're in probably one of those high end hotels. Like, we have the money to pay for. Why are we gonna stay in the cold house? Like, line to the first night. Yeah, like, we just go to, go to a hotel. We don't have to stay in the cold, but I mean, all our stuff's here. You don't wanna just leave it and like go. Cause there's, a lur there's lurkers. Yeah. Which actually, the second night, there was one. I mean, I don't know if it was 100%, but it was a truck, white truck that just kept driving around. It was two o'clock in the morning. He drove, drove around, in and out. Probably three times and the only reason why he's able to get in is because they had to uh, do like an emergency open on the gate yeah. where they have to leave it open the so there's only one entrance and exit but it's not closed you know you can't put a gate code or anything like that they have to leave it open or we're all stuck in here mm -hmm. so anybody can come in at the time and he just so happened to be driving in and out at two in the morning yeah and he had the lights on and he's looking at it. i was like come on who does that yeah. nobody nobody does that here like that everybody says hi to everybody usually when we're outside Mm -hmm. we all know whose cars are usually here too like i'll even say hi like whenever they see me in la now outside walking they'll wave and say hi because they, they know we definitely know that they're probably looking at us more because you know we drive like a i mean it's still 2018 nissan it's nice and everything but like they you know one of the neighbors busted out with a lamborghini the other <laughs> night i'm like okay they're probably looking at me like he's the he's like, oh, he'd, he'd be the robber him. yeah he'd be the one that robbed my house i'm like okay man like, <laughs> trying to make money like you but i can never do it <laughs> also side note uh the last week or so people have been spotting orbs in my during my live videos and that is like that makes me feel really good that people are actually seeing that because i know there's a lot of you know controversy people reading tarot oh you're the devil blah blah, blah which i'm not even going to get into that right now but it'll be a separate video we'll yeah make. Um, or we can talk about more of that stuff too. Now that you mentioned that before, I saw that or got that vision of the the, the girl because it had to be a girl. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless it was like a really like conflicted boy, but I doubt it. It just felt like no, it was a girl. Pretty, you, you're pretty good when it comes um, to that, you know. You because it was so dark and everything with the flashlights, like with the lights and all that, you can see like you know the particles and all that, like the dust yeah. particles and everything coming out because they said the flashlights are super fine to find like. They're so bright, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? And so I was, when I was doing that, yeah, you could see, that's another thing I thought too, like, okay, maybe it's just that, it's a, like the particles, I was playing with my eyes or whatever. Um, but no, 
you can tell the difference from uh, okay, you can from dust the particles to so orbs. an orb. Yeah. Well, like I told you, remember when I sent you the video? Because even I was like, well, what if it's just like lint or something flying off my, like the cloth that I have? Yeah. And I was like, no, you can actually see the light coming from the orb. Yeah, and, and how, do you, orb, how do you get, you know? for example, like when I see mine sometimes, how do you get an orb like that when it's pitch black? Yeah, exactly, with too. With no windows, mm -hmm. and so you can't get on oncoming traffic outside. Yeah. That can't be an excuse for you. Mm -hmm. You don't have anybody for your neighbor, like our neighbors, your neighbors are what the next neighbor over here for example is like what 50 yards down yeah it's 50 yards down in, in typical neighborhood they're usually only like 10 20 feet apart mm -hmm. this guy's 100 feet down at least yeah. yeah and their their lights aren't even on at they night because they turn them off yeah they don't reflect so like it's whatsoever. not like yeah they can't reflect and how you can get that when you have no windows especially like for example you're in a restroom, you see an orb, how do you get that? You yeah, can't get it's that. like, what is the... When it's pitch black in the restroom because the lights are out, how do you get that? You yeah. can't. Mm -hmm. You can't. There's no logical explanation, like, people like to Yeah, like, you can't. You, you can go and make up all these little angles with your flashlight, and you're, you're not going to get green, the color green or color blue. Yeah, or specific. Yeah, yeah. In a room that's black. Yeah. With no windows or, you know I mean, no trajectory and especially the doors closed that's even yeah. harder like. <laughs> so that's i know like my like my angels my spirit guides they've definitely been protecting us like big time throughout all this like even when the lights went out like we were able to go to my grandma's house she had power the entire time so thankfully we never had to struggle with you know not having food or like not being able oh, to be man. comfortable grandma can cook you know? yeah this is why i'm <laughs> That's why she like spoiled this. us entire she loved us grandma's been there. cooking for me for what five years already yeah maybe see i'd probably be like 20 pounds lighter <laughs> <laughs> if i didn't eat her cook. come on homemade meatloaf uh, was it rice, corn, potatoes, oh, my mashed potatoes favorite, with my bread? Favorite, Come on. Yeah. Who doesn't eat 3,000 calories of that in one sitting? So that's when I know, like I said, and the fact that you guys have been seeing them as well, so not just me, that just like, I don't know, it just makes me feel really safe and really like protected and just knowing that, you know, my prayers every day, you know, they're listening and I know that they are, but still, it's just confirmation, I guess. Yeah. yeah, well, at least Elmo hasn't gone off right in the middle of the night. Because <laughs> we turned them off, remember? Oh, we took off, we took off the batteries. Didn't I take off the batteries? Yeah, yeah. And, that, and, that so turn, and I put the turn off button. Yeah. So if that guy moves or he says something, <laughs> Elmo's, Elmo's going in the bonfire. Look, there he is. Look, he's staring at us. No, like, that's why I said it. Because, like, he's just there. And look at those eyes. Like, he's just there. He's staring at you. Like, come on, bro. Make a move. Oh, God. Okay. Well, you have anything else to add? Um, other than that, like, there were the nights on... The last night before we ended up taking off, because it was already 55 degrees in here, it was it was pretty cold inside. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's other people out there that were going through way worse than yeah. us, but we had just never... We're not used to it, so for us, it's Well, I mean, cold. they're not used to it, too, yeah. a lot of them. I mean, those poor people that were in, like, 30 degree weather in their own apartments, no yeah. running water, frozen pipes. Very bad. I saw the videos where the pipes were bursting, and they mm -hmm. were all... People died in like their own sleeping areas because they froze to death. I mean, that's nothing compared to what we're seeing. Yeah, that's why. You can't even. That's why I, mean, I mentioned like you know. Yeah, I we know just my mentioned what we were, went through, but like to them, yeah, to them we gotta say sorry and uh, shoot to their families and everything. You just gotta like, send out their the respect and the love to them because I saw I mean hours and hours and hours of footage of these people going through crap that where we hear like oh it's fifty five in our house we're freezing yeah we were cold and everything like that. And actually, our food was already going bad and everything, but like they, but we knew had, they'd be okay. Yeah, they had yeah. no food. Some mm -hmm. of them didn't have transportation because they were frozen. It was frozen. You know, what I mean, over here we had a little bit of ice on the car. It looked like a popsicle. Yeah, thank God we took didn't like get, fifteen like, minutes to defrost. Snow. Yeah, over there they couldn't move the car. Mm -hmm. The car was frozen. It was Literally stuck. stuck. And then if they were out there, like in Fort Worth, Texas, with that pileup, you you risk more chance of dying because you're on the road. You're gonna slide into everybody else. Mm -hmm. and they went through a way more things yeah. um just like it's a backtrack because we're over here saying oh and then they're like oh they live in a freaking five bedroom house who gives a shit if it's 55 degrees in there <laughs> but uh yeah then the last night before we took off yeah i was doing the puzzle which is actually where the camera's facing this way right behind this yeah. there's a table with a puzzle and uh, i was working on that puzzle because i mean just to 
it's you know at seven o'clock it's pitch black in this house so and i don't go to sleep at seven no way i can go to sleep but i'll be awake at 12 midnight already <laughs> um so i just started working on the puzzle and yeah once in a while you would hear some stuff behind me um some stuff in the kitchen that i could hear mm -hmm. um something like somebody was trying to open a door or something like that but i mean coming from i guess from my my old house because i have stories from my old house well we'll I'll tell you those stories later on in different episodes. Yeah. Um, that this really not, that was really nothing compared to what I've seen and been uh, through as a kid and, and growing up. That was actually like, even watching seeing that face didn't freak me out. But I think it's because I guess I didn't think too much into it. Like, oh, it happened. It's pitch black. Stuff like this in part of any household like this mm -hmm. in areas out here like where we live in, especially because we're closer to the ranches and the monte and all that. Mm -hmm. It's going to be stories like this. I was like, why? If I would have thought about it, thought about it, thought about it, it freaked me out. That's why it would have been a rough week without electricity. Like, you have to have boundaries when it comes to this kind of stuff because like, yes, it's a gift and yes, that, you know, we welcome it in, but at the same time, for example, like when I'm going to the bathroom, still half asleep, you know, and I feel like that's when it most triggers when you're like half asleep because you're still half in the mindset of being like not aware, but aware, you know what I'm saying? It's you have yourself in that state of mind. So that's when you're more prone to seeing more stuff, you know? So, but like I said, you have to have those boundaries because we don't have those boundaries, then you're never going to get any rest practically. Like it's always going to be in your head. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah. that's where people sometimes ask to, like, um, how do you set those boundaries or how do you even do that? You have to do that, like, within yourself, basically. Yeah. You have to tell yourself, like, no, you know, even if it's a good spirit, sometimes if it's a good spirit, I have to say, like, hey, like, right now is not the time. Or, like, you know, you have to, and you have to trust and know that the right time will eventually show itself, you know? Yeah, there's one of the things my dad said, um, and he passed away last June, but he would always say, it's like, you should never be frightened or scared in your own household. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You should never be to a point to where you can't sleep because you're, you're frightened that much in your own household. Mm -hmm. He's like, if it's that bad, then you need to do something. You can't allow it to yeah. happen like that. He's like, there's going to be noises. Um, you know, your fridge, you're going to, it's going to click. It's going to pop because of the ice maker, whatever you have in the freezer. Um, your oven if you use it or whatever it's gonna make noises after that too you know your sink all See, that I stuff like that yeah too. actually that right that there, was a cash because that was right behind our couch <laughs> yeah if it's not the turtle because we actually have a turtle that they <laughs> saved yeah we saved the turtle well i like to say we saved him because i'm the one still feeding him and giving him water and everybody just abandoned the poor guy he's back here and he makes noise but there's a it's a box he's in a box he's in a big old there. He's in a big old shipping box, so he has room. Um, he has a lamp and stuff like that, right? Um, so he makes like scratches on a box, which I've already known how that sounds like. Yeah. So, and then of course, you know, in a big house like this, and we have fields all around, we have a couple of field rats that like trying to get into yeah. the damn house. Yeah, you can literally too. hear them in the walls. Yeah, like, like we, I have to like, I literally have to search for those efforts. <laughs> every night because they try to get into the house and i'm like nope so like i've already established those sounds they're probably like oh that's disgusting i don't yeah, want i, I don't want a big house i, I know those house. sounds too <laughs> i don't want a big house they're saying there's rodents the size of them in there it's especially gross what if, can hear them i know somebody's bound to say in one of these videos and come like maybe it was a rat <laughs> it was a woman we know rat. it's a rat it was a woman rat trying to seduce me i mean what can i say i'm pretty fine right i mean um but yeah, like there's different noises that you know what they are, and then there's some noises that make, and you're like, nah, that was a little different than usual. And then you go and you go like me, I'm like the, it's a, people are probably gonna get mad at this one, but it's because it happens in so many movies. I'm that person, that, that ethnicity person that literally goes, and wa and they hear a noise and they go straight to the noise, and everybody else in the movie theater is like, run, run. Cause they know what's gonna happen, right? In the movie, yeah. me, I'm just like I'm going, and then it's pitch black, and I have the flashlight, and I'm like, if anything pops out, it's gonna take. I'm gonna swing, like <laughs> I'm not gonna just scream and fall on the ground. That's not the way it works. It's supernatural me. or natural. Like, it's literally gonna. It's literally. I don't care if it goes through them or into them. It's gonna <laughs> know that I'm gonna react. 
towards it rather than away from it. For example, what happened to you when you thought it'd be funny to, to scare me? I was sitting on the couch. The couch is like this. It's a row like this. So it's a row of couches, right? I was on the floor couch. right side. And I heard something. I'm like, okay, it sounds familiar. But it was really like, what, midnight? It was like midnight. Yeah, it was late. And I was watching a, a show here. And then, and then uh, all of a sudden, I have my hand up. Because like, I usually do this. Or I'm like this. When, I don't know. I put weird positions when I'm watching TV and stuff. And then all of a sudden, I just hear, where'd you go? You went, oh, you went, like, no, no, you went, like you went, rrr, rrr. Yeah, and I, I was like, okay, that. it's I cash, because I heard her uh, like a growl, right? I'm like, okay, it's cash, because he, he always wants attention around that time. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I felt something touch me on my head and my ear, and all of a sudden, I just went, <laughs> and my wife took a, a fist to the face. <laughs> I wasn't expecting, because I never, I never scare him. Like, luckily, he always, like, knows when I'm coming, so I thought he would know, but no, he literally just... Luckily, <laughs> I didn't go, like, full force. I think I would have broke her nose, <laughs> but, like, I literally, as soon as I felt skin, I was like, oh, it's somebody. <laughs> and that's when I realized all my stuff. <laughs> and she was just there holding around, like, oh, God. I was like, you're lucky I didn't go, like, full on. <laughs> okay, I can't wait any longer. I have to open myself. All right, go for it. We're gonna close out with an unboxing. As I said, I got a new pendulum and I got a pendulum clock because I wanna expand, you know, my readings. And I also wanna do more past life regression stuff. So both of these I got off of Amazon, which I will have linked below. I haven't opened it yet, but I did take them out of the, the Amazon box just cause, you know, shipping label and whatnot. So, <laughs> okay. Jesus, is this a you're opening a piece of candy, calm down there. <laughs> it does look like candy. Oh my god, if I can open it. It's just a little flap right there. I know, but it's like stuck. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, so this is the pendulum that I thought, I mean, I, I will obviously show you guys more up close during lives and whatnot, but it has the seven chakra stones which i love and okay so the um the pendulum itself is actually interchangeable so you can it's like a little lock or you can actually like i said you can take out the actual crystal which this one is an obsidian and um i got obsidian because obsidian is mainly used for uh obviously guidance but it's also used to help tell you the truth about things so um that's why i got this one for my pendulum uses because i wanted to do past life work and i feel like with past life we hide ourselves a lot from the truth for one reason or another um maybe that's why a lot of us don't know or remember our past lives and i'm gonna be honest with you guys i don't remember much of any of my past lives but the last um past life reading I did on myself, I've had more than five past lives. So I want to know why I am not allowing myself in this life to see my past lives. So I feel like if I do more past life work, it can really help me like release any blockages that may be in this life. You know what I'm saying? Because we carry on similar traits from, you know, life to life. So that's why I got obsidian because like I said, obsidian really helps to bring out the truth about things. And like I said, it's, it's so cute that it's interchangeable. I mean, you can get different crystals and you know, if you want to do a love reading, you can put a rose quartz. If you want to do a psychic reading, you can put an amethyst. And I mean, obviously you would have to get all the different crystals, but I liked that idea of it. And if you want to put your ex to sleep and punch him in the nuts a hundred times for cheating on you, go for it. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I didn't give you permission, but it's an idea, right? I mean. <laughs> okay, and then I got a pendulum clock, obviously, to get more in-depth answers. Okay, let's see. This is the same one that my friend, Miss Wheats Tarot has. Make sure you guys go follow her if you haven't already. She is so awesome, and she does a lot of live it's like readings a big as well. Fruit roll -up. I know, right? It looks so... I think I'm hungry. I think I'm hungry. I already yeah. ate the last fruit roll-up. It's so the sorry. drink. It's working on me. I ate the last fruit roll-up. Man, we, we seriously need to get some better packaging. I know, right? I mean, it's packaged great, but I'm saying you just can't open them. I can't. <laughs> well, I'm trying to find, like, the little, like, Four adults like, only. <laughs> okay, see, it has a little opening. I didn't know that. Look how gorgeous this 
is. Oh yeah, that is pretty cool. Oh, oh nice and shiny. My gosh. Look, you can literally get any information you want there you go. out of this. So it has um the date the the months all around. What else does it have? It has the runes, so you can do rune readings as well, which I actually need to get a, pe a pack of runes. I have I have some on my wish list, um, I believe, that I have put, because I do want to learn runes. It has zodiac signs, it has the days of the week, it has numbers and letters, which is awesome. So like you can even, for example, the reason why I want to see, it's so shiny, right? Oh my God, I'm amazed by just the shininess. Um, so, uh, and like I said, it also obviously has the yes, the no, possibly check again um, for just straight up answers. But I thought, I thought, what an awesome thing that it has the 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 numbers and letters. So you can actually get your name in your past life, and you can get when you died and when you were born. So that we can actually research who you were in a past life. If that makes sense. So that's actually. The next thing i'm gonna do <laughs> so yeah that's why i wanted to get this one and like i said i saw it off of miss wheat's tarot channel i'll have her link down below she is a good friend of mine and you guys seen her on my channel before we've done multiple collabs tipsy tarot regular tarot <laughs> we've done it all Everybody so loves tipsy tarot. yeah I, oh speaking of tipsy tarot okay this is gonna be the last thing in order to close out i swear okay so um for my birthday, my birthday is March 22nd. This is March 7th. Yes, we're only a couple weeks apart, but we're a year God, apart such from an each other. attention grabber over here. <laughs> no, for my birthday, I want to do a tipsy tarot. So I want to invite as many people as I possibly can, which is probably nine of you guys, because I can collab up to 10 people. Well, 10 including me, which I've already told most of you guys. Um, so like I said, I'll send you guys messages and whatnot. Um, but I want to do it probably March 20th, which is that Saturday, because I know it's tipsy tarot, not everybody can have a drink on the weekdays, but um, for the weekend, like I said, I want to try to do it that for my birthday. Is there a vlog that? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Oh, like, shit, I was like, oh, bro, bro, no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, it's, it's easier for people to, let, you know, let loose on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not all of us can have a drink during the week. <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay, y'all. Well, I think that's everything for this episode, at least. Please let us know in the comments below, like, what else you would like to see, you know, with us or any ideas. We also, oh, we could also do, like, paranormal, like, stories of... Well, we got, like, I got a bunch of them, remember, just from the condo at the island. Yeah, that too. So let, it, let, let us know. There's a lot of activity out there. Like, if you guys have any other ideas as well, I mean, we can we're open for anything really on what it's you guys want to see from us if you have activity do not try to record it <laughs> yeah. that's usually when it goes bad i'm not that gives power it. actually yeah it usually gives 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 negative um turn or don't, or don't force them bad. to show themselves yeah. that's the number one yeah. like you no know, get scratched or no, no 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 don't force them to show themselves heat. because trust me they will and it will not be yeah pretty. well you're allowing them to enter yeah any entity around you, whether it's you or something around that can latch on to, so rather it's... We can do that in our next that. video, like, uh, give tips and tricks on on all of that, you know? Tricks? What they can do, what they can't do. Yeah, we've got some tricks. I gotta go get them from the corners and stuff. I mean, they gotta pay me anyways from last week. <laughs> okay. I mean, gotta make money somehow, even though it's freezing down here. Right? On that note, I guess we're gonna go, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but as I, as I said, please let us know uh, what you guys would like to see from us during this series. We'll try to post hopefully maybe at least once a week. That is the goal. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, thumbs up We're the video. Leave that into the video right there. <laughs> thumbs up the video. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification. And I'll see you guys next time. All right.